All right, welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to have a basic introduction to uh, the HTML in uh, Dreamweaver. So we're basically going to create, continue where we left off from the last tutorial. So I'm going to go File Open and Open Recent this index portfolio, uh, which uh, basically is a blank HTML5 page. If you didn't create one on your own, you can always go File New. And then under new document, click on this and then basically choose HTML and the option here and make sure HTML5 is selected and just click create. That's basically what we've done here. Uh, we basically saved it um, in the last tutorial. So what's going on here? So we have a split view here, which has visual stuff and code stuff. And that's what's happening in Dreamweaver here. And then we have this live view and design view. The design view allows you to type directly in. The live view allows you to edit once there's stuff in here. Uh, and the stuff that's in here, as I click in here, is you notice is basically in what's called the body of the document. So uh, we can go through a little bit of the, what this HTML code it represents. The first line here is the doc type, and uh, this doc type it represents HTML5. Then we have the closing and uh, end tag of the HTML, and you can see here. Uh, you notice there's uh, a, a repeating sort of thing that happens here with these brackets. There's one on each side, the left angle bracket and the right angle bracket. There is also an opening and a closing tag. The only difference is the closing tag also has this forward slash here. So if we click on the head here, which is basically, if you think of uh, uh, like a person or a, yeah, a person, the head is where, um, you know, uh, part of the body and in the head, is basically all the un, the non-visual stuff, basically. And so here you can see we have left angle bracket and again that forward slash. Uh, it includes a meta tag, which is usually a metadata. In this sense, it's uh, a character set, which is a standard for uh, web design here. It's typically used for the UTF-8. And then we have a title and currently it's an entitled document. And so these things are not visual represented in here, but anything that's inside the body, which currently there's nothing here, is gonna be in here. So let's uh, change some things. Let's actually, in the code view, just hit return and then type in something. So I'm gonna type in, um, this is my first website. Yay. <laughs> and then maybe type, and then hit return, and maybe type yay. And then uh, that's it. And so in the body, we have these two lines. So uh, right now, they don't represent anything. They're just two lines. In the, and as you notice, I click off, they're uh, basically uh, in this uh, body tag here. If we switch to design view, I can, after the exclamation mark, I can hit uh, enter, and then something else happens. So in design view, it starts to automatically add HTML which is this has now become a paragraph tag and this has become a paragraph tag. So each one has been represented by the P with the left and angled and right angled brackets and the forward slash. Notice that almost all HTML has an opening and closing tag as I click on one of these. There are a few uh, HTML options that don't like the meta one here and the doc type here. So just realize that most of them are gonna have an opening and closing. Uh, so if you ever want to guess, you know, make sure you try and think, hey, yeah, this could be the way to go. Now, uh, this is my first website. What if I want to change this to an H1 tag? What they call a heading one. Well, I can highlight the P in here and type in H1 and then come over here to this P and then type in H1 and then click out and then click in here. You'll notice how it's been updated. Again, if I switch back to live view, you'll see now if I click on each of these, this one has an H1 and then this one says P for paragraph. Um, it's a little harder to edit in the live view. I can double click and then I can start to edit this text if I want to. There are some things we're gonna go over in the future on how to edit here. But for right now, let's stick to design view, okay? So if I want this to be an H2, again, I could select this and again, type in an H2 and H2, that would be one way. Another way to do this is to simply uh, go over here into Dreamweaver which is so awesome, and into the insert panel. And uh, right here, there's HTML tag. So you can click on this little icon here. So if you're in a template, so you can switch to HTML. And go down to the headings here and click on this little arrow here. 
and you'll see there's all these uh, different headings and we can choose an h2 tag and voila now we have it so uh, it's that simple and look how in the code it has changed h2 h2 so let's highlight this one and change it back to a paragraph just like that with a single click pretty powerful stuff and not too complicated uh, this is one reason why Dreamweaver is, is very popular as a web design program because you can do this click and you also have access to the code view so you're able to go back and forth between the two. Let's change the uh, untitled document. Let's start there and call it um, you know, maybe my name, James Kleckner. I could call it something like the art of James Kleckner. So this is a portfolio website we're going to create eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe copy in some uh, information in here instead of yeah this is my first website or yay let's uh, open up a word document I have a word document here and I have all this texture I'm gonna grab line by line and do it this way I'm gonna hit control C to copy and then I'm just gonna highlight all this and then hit control V to paste so this one right now has uh, by default it's set to a paragraph I want this to be a heading one so I'm gonna click in here and switch this to h1 tag uh, it brought in a, a line break. That's with the NBSP here. I'm just going to delete that. Don't really need that. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight it and delete. And then come back to the Word document. And, you know, I could copy the whole thing. You might be wondering, why don't you just copy the whole thing? But I want to do each one paragraph by paragraph, just so you can see here. So I'm going to select this paragraph, copy, come in here. And I'm just going to hit return and then hit Control V to paste. And now I have uh, a nice little paragraph here. Now it has a, a few line breaks. Sometimes this happens depending on your formatting. If you don't want these, which I don't really want, I can simply uh, delete them and then just make sure they have you know regular line spacing here. So just delete that and then uh, you know delete that guy there. So that just cleans everything up a little bit. So uh, now I can click out. And let's grab one more paragraph and we'll do the same thing again copy and paste this is some information about me I'm a graphic art instructor at last community college and then it has my degrees and so forth again by default it has made it a paragraph if it didn't I could make it h1 or h2 if I wanted to but it did include these again these uh, line breaks which again I don't want so I'm just gonna highlight and delete that one and then again highlight this one and delete that one so now we have the closing keys and then again I'll hit return here again I am in design views I'm doing this it's really important because you wouldn't be able to uh, paste in text as much or as easily in uh, live view actually you can't do it in live view so I'm gonna go ahead and paste here and again with this line here again we have uh, one of these uh, line breaks and again, if there was a reason why you wanted them, you could add that. There is some reasons, and we'll go over that later on. But right now, there's not really a reason for that for me. And then I'm just going to uh, basically hit return here. And then uh, this last line is basically my footer information here, my copyright. So I'm just going to paste that in. And again, it basically will add it as a paragraph tag. Now, it's got a couple of line breaks here. I'm going to go ahead and delete those. But it does have paragraph and paragraph here. I don't want this to be a paragraph. I want this to be a traditional footer. And so what I can do is highlight the text here. I can do it in here or I can do it in here. It doesn't matter. And then go to my HTML tag. And you'll notice there's no footer here. But if you scroll down further, these are the new HTML5 uh, sort of uh, section dividers we have the header nav main aside and right here is the footer so when I click on this it'll ask first do we want to wrap around the selection of text which is what I want uh, but you can have it at the start of the tag or before the end of the tag I want to wrap around you can give it a class and ID we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this later on uh, but right now I'm just gonna click OK and right here you can see I have the footer now what it has done is it's actually also kept the paragraph tag because this is paragraph text so you can have a paragraph uh, tag inside a footer tag and that's fine. 
Uh, if I wanted to style the footer tag differently, there's reasons why you may not want to have the paragraph tag in there. But for right now, I'm going to leave it. Now, uh, the, I'm going to switch to the code view here just so we can see this. It's a little bit messy here. There's a little widget over here on the left, uh, which is really nice. And it's this uh, one, two, three, fourth one down. It's the format source code. If you click on this and then click on apply source formatting, it just cleans up your, your, your setup here and gives you nice clean. Uh, so now we have the H1 on its own line. It has the paragraph separated out nicely and then the footer and then the paragraph separate out, you know, pretty nice. If we adjusted the width here, what will happen is the paragraph will be extended. It wants to do that in terms of codes, but if your paragraphs are really long, like these are longer, it's going to wrap around basically and apply it on, you know, right after the last line. So uh, what we have covered is basic HTML, how to create that by hand through coding, you know, by typing in H1 or, uh, you know, with the brackets and the forward slash. We've also done it through directly in here by selecting or typing out code. And then, of course, using the insert panel to actually determine whether you want this to be a paragraph text or a type of heading text. And then uh, finally, a footer, which is uh, towards the bottom here. So until next time, we'll see you soon in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Cheers.